Hi everyone, I'm Jackie, and in this video I will be giving my October 2024 SCT predictions for Standard English Conventions. This correlates to the score report section domain of your exam of Standard English Conventions. All right, so let's see. So first, Jeffrey Reynard Allen's short essay on Backwall, a word referring to the cliff at the end at the head of a glacier carved valley, is included in the collection Homeground, a guide to the American landscape. The book wasn't written solely by hmm, other authors, such as Carolyn Servid and Barry Lopez, also contributed to essays. Okay, so first thing to always consider when you're dealing with boundaries is to check if there are two independent clauses. So here, the book wasn't written solely by Alan. That could be a complete sentence. So just to show, I would have an independent clause. Independent clause is a complete sentence. And if I look from here, other authors, such as Carolyn Servid and Barry Lopez, so remember, double commas, they are non-essential information. But even without that, it just reads, other authors also contributed to essays. So this would also be another independent clause. And there's only three ways to separate independent clauses is with a period, a semicolon, or a comma plus fanboy. So for sure, I can eliminate anything that has a comma. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's it. However, looking here, I can actually also see that knowing what I wrote here, a period is the same as a semicolon. This is grammatically identical. And this happens on the exam. So here, I can eliminate these two because they are the same. You can't have the two same answers. So through process elimination, it must be option B. Okay, so these ones are always tough, but when you ever have a transition word at the end of a sentence, just remember it's solely for stylistic purposes. It is the same if I were to put the however at the beginning of the clause. And if it makes sense, which I believe it does, imagine it says like Jeffrey... Jeffrey Rennard, Ellen Short Essay on Blackwall, a word referring to the clip at the end of a glacier carved valley, is included in the collection of Home Ground, a guide to American landscape. So we're talking about this specific book or his essay, which is a book. The book wasn't written solely by Ellen. However, the book wasn't written solely by Ellen. And then this part just explains how it wasn't written solely by Ellen. Okay. Wasn't that amazing? Continuing our journey. Um, integrating insights from economics and psychology, researchers in the field of behavioral economics explore a variety of topics. Lucia Machia of the University of o Oxford studies socioeconomic. Other researchers investigate areas such as organizational behavior and personal finance. Same thing. I want to determine first, are there two independent clauses? Lucia Machia of the University of Oxford studies socio socioeconomic inequality. I think we can agree, right? There's a subject, subject, Lucia, verb. This is an independent clause or a complete sentence. Also, just like the previous one, other researchers, subject, verb, investigate areas such as organizational behavior and personal finance, another independent clause. Okay. So whenever I have an independent with independent, remember it can only be semicolon, which is the same as a period, or a comma plus fanboy. So I can eliminate any instances with a comma. So for sure, C is gone. Um, and when I look at the other one, so also whenever you have um, this construction with no comma, you always have to have a comma before the transition word, such as for instance, or after, like we do an A and B. If there is no comma, you can always immediately eliminate it. Can't be D. So my decision point comes between where does the example actually occur? Um, so it would be researchers in the field of behavioral economics explore a variety of topics. And then it provides an example of one of the topics that's provided. Therefore, this one would be A, for instance. 
So here, like for instance, others researchers investigate areas, that's not given an example. Like I want to show how the variety of topics is being explored. And remember, just like the previous question, if I have this at the end, doesn't matter. It's the same if I were to put, for instance, at the beginning of the sentence, which makes sense, right? For instance, Luki Amaki of the University of Oxford studies economic inequality, and then it goes on to show what other researchers study. Okay, amazing. Continuing our journey. William Kittredge's short essay on Cremal Halls, a word referring to twisted and stunted trees growing near the tree line is included in the collection of Home Ground, a guide to the American landscape. The book wasn't written solely by Kittredge. My goodness, it's just like the other two examples I gave. So first I can see it's again, an independent clause. I'm just going to put I with another independent clause. Other authors, such as Linda Hogan and Barry Lopez, also contributed essays. For sure, cannot be D. That's a comma splice. And then, look, these are grammatic grammatically identical. So by default, it's got to be A. Okay. Amazing. Now let's take a look at verbs. So this one. I've mentioned this before, if you look into my five hacks to a high, to a high English grammar score, um, but this says interest. Okay. Always what I do first when I'm approaching the English grammar section is I first always scan the answer choices and I look at this and I'm like, okay, I'm definitely dealing with, with verbs. Um, this is singular. This one's also singular. This is also singular. Interestingly, C is plural. Whenever you have this, and if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I call this the three one split. And when you have the three one split, the answer choice is always the unique option, which in this case is the plural option. However, I want to be diligent and check what my subject is. So let's find that interest in mechanostraduction, the mechanism by which cells sense and convert mecha mechanical stimuli into biochemical signals, remember this is just extra information, it is expanding because of innovative work by biomedical scientists, many of whom, like neurosci neuroscience and biophysics expert Alba Serrano, um, who am I talking about? Many of whom refers to the scientist, the biomedical scientist, the biomedical scientist study this mechanism. Okay, but subject can be hard to see, but if you notice this pattern, it's 100% going to be the unique option. Like the only plural option could also be the only singular option and other options. Again, let's take a look at this one. Name for the number of hoofed toes they possess, even toed ungulates, such as the domestic goat cabra, um, capra, Agarius hicris belongs to a vast and diverse order of animals. Okay, great. However, let's look at these. This is singular. Another one, singular. And this one is also singular. And then I'm left with an only plural option. Okay, so for sure it's plural because of the three versus one split. Remember, if you ever see this, it's going to be the unique option. However, to identify what the subject is, this says named for the number of hoof toes they possess. This would be the open introductory modifying phrase. What is named for the number of hoof toes they possess? The subject, the even toed ungulates. And you can see this is 100% plural plural, subject, and that is why it agrees with belong, you know, but I didn't really have to identify the subject if I recognize this pattern. Okay, amazing. Continuing our journey, oh my goodness, the Southern Delta Accurid meteor shower has a zenithal hourly rate ZHR of 25, meaning that at the shower's peak, 25 meteors per hour could potentially be seen by a hypothetical observer. A calculation. 
a calculation that assumes ideal viewing conditions. Okay. So whenever I see this, like, first of all, all of this is like pretty long. I'm pretty confident. I know I'm dealing with modifiers. I remember in modifiers, the subject must be placed immediately after the comma. So here, like a calculation that assumes, like, what's a calculation that assumes ideal viewing conditions? Okay, well, first, uh, an actual viewer's observed number of meteors. Observed number of meteorites cannot be an actual viewer's observed number. This doesn't make sense. Like, a, the viewer's observed number of meteorites is not a calculation. The number of meteorites an actual viewer observes. Could that be a calculation? I don't think so. <laughs> Although it is the number, but it's not a specific calculation. Eliminate. There, whenever you see there, if you see any prepositions like there, in, on, of, etc., they cannot be a subject, so they cannot appear immediately after the comma, so I can immediately eliminate. Minus, it must be option D, the ZHR. And it, remember, the ZHR, minus, zenithal hourly rate, that's a calculation. So that's a calculation that assumes ideal viewing conditions. It must be the answer. So remember, modifiers, you can see them because they're a bit longer than the other choices that you usually have on the English sec section of the exam. And the subject must be placed immediately after the comma. Okay, so like, I mean, those, you have to know modifiers, you have to be comfortable with verbs, and you have to know boundaries really well, like you see I did here earlier. And if you know that for the English questions, you should be solid on the exam. Let me know if you have questions. I hope this helped you and that you do amazing on the exam if you're taking it in October. And if you're just watching this video and not taking the exam, I hope this helps you understand English. Like like, rate, and subscribe if you love this video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!